bonus stream what is up guys welcome back it's only been what about two and a half hours or a little bit longer than that since we last crawled this pass i want to make sure that you guys can hear me everything is good and all that there's no echoes i do have an additional camera that i have added and you know how settings don't always work out in my favor i also have no headset on so it's kind of like a game break day where everything is echoey and super loud so let me know if i'm too quiet or too loud as i'm probably going to be a little bit more cautious of my voice now i was a little late getting the premiere page up i wanted to have it up by four but unfortunately it was more like 4 31 and i don't think most of the notifications went out to the people which is why there was only a couple of you hanging out now it could be too the time difference the, the regular so to speak might be uh in bed right now i know it's pretty late for gray and those over in the uk and whatnot so um i know a lot of our audience that hangs out in the day is from europe or the uk so uh, it could be the case but hopefully we'll get some of the the locals as i call them to go ahead and hang out as we bust out all 20 of these bags now i know my camera's a little bit in the way of where the pile is but don't worry i'm going to do all of the opening right here and i'm also going to uh place them all in kind of a row right here i don't know how well you'll be able to see them once i'm done with that but uh that's the goal so uh, real quick, here's the plan. I'm kind of winging it, if I'm being honest. I thought I did a, a phenomenal job of busting out a thumbnail at the last minute. Da -da 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 Hopefully I don't get monetized for that or demonetized for that. But anyways, uh, I got a hold of these. Ultimately, this is a, one of the first collectible minifigure series that I've really paid much attention to. Uh, the reason being is that, uh, you know, Looney Tunes was on a lot. When I was a kid, a lot of syndication. Um, I own quite a few of the Looney Tune DVDs, uh, something I've kind of re regurgitated to Reese and continue that tradition. Um, and, and so, you know, obviously, on top of that, too, recently, I kind of made an analogy of how one of our regulars and one of my good long term friends, Nam, he has this tendency to like not listen to people when you're telling, especially a long story. And he'll just like take off. And I called him the road runner one day. I said, dude, you're like the road runner. You're here one second and then pew, you're gone. And I said, you just meet, meet me, did you? And then I like kind of made this joke, like anytime, you know, you, you check out, just say meet, meet or type it. Now we've even got an actual emoji for it. Um, I don't know where he is. To be honest with you, I messaged him personally and just said, hey, I'm about to do this. I don't know if you're going to want to watch this or not, but, and I haven't heard from him. So likely he's lurking, but uh, what is up, eh? Uh, what is up, Brian? What is up, Gray? What is up? Uh, let's see. We got uh, Kirsten and Ray's are both here. Let me get the right mouse. I got I got, I got, got too many mice on my table here. Uh, Ratty Judy is here as well as Gray. So what is up, everybody? I'm hoping that some more people will show up pretty soon. We've got some spammers in the chat, so let's go ahead and deal with that. In fact, why don't we just toss him? Let's just bounce. Let's just bounce, bounce. Yeah, you want to see... Unfortunately, you're, you're not going to be able to hang out for the cringe anymore. Bye. Bye. All right. Um, so I want to tell a fun little story real quick. I know that there's not a ton of people here, so a lot of people will be um, kind of on the backside listening. And, and most people probably that are li listening to this probably didn't hear this story the other day in the live stream. My wife and I have been going to the store looking for these for at least a week now. Um, I wasn't sure. There was kind of some misinformation about when they were going to be released. And so I kept checking stores and I kept getting told, oh, this Tuesday or this Thursday or whatever from employees, which clearly had no idea what they were talking about. Um, and then the other day we went and I actually was walking through the Lego aisle in Target. We were there for like dog stuff. And uh, I don't even remember the whole list, but it wasn't Lego. But I always go to check it out. And I, I, at the end of the aisle, they had kind of this like shelf system. And I had a, I saw a bunch of poly bags and whatever. And I got all the way to the top and there was about, I don't know, there was probably 20 of these of these cmf bags and i was kind of grabbing them and i just walked up and was kind of doing like one of these numbers right and this guy walks up and just goes sorry i'm gonna take them all guys sorry and he like tries to go and i'm like no no and so like he tried to like grab them all but his hand kind of scooped over the top of a majority of them and they were left so i got my hand in there and grabbed the rest of the remaining ones and took them and then he just i didn't know if he was like going over to like you know kind of give the field test or whatever and then drop in the bag or if he was gonna buy them all but i was like all right i'm gonna go somewhere else and we can analyze these and as i walked away i just realized you know what i'm just gonna buy all of these and then my wife was like hey there's another target right around the way you want to go over there too and i was like yeah let's go do that so we ended up chasing down 
uh, the other target, and we asked a bunch of employees. There was nothing to be found in the Lego section or anywhere. They had this really cool, like, toy area that um, kids could, like, play and do stuff. And there was all these Le- – it was actually really cool. It's not like our other target. And um, and so right in the middle, there was, like, this fountain. It had all these poly bags and Lego things. And we thought for sure that's where it was going to be, and they weren't there. So we uh, asked a couple of employees. They said, no, I wish we had them. They're not around, though. And, and then we were walking out and we grabbed, I don't remember what it was. My wife grabbed something like some dryer sheets or something that they didn't have at the other one. And we were standing in line and she looks over and there's right there at the checkout line, there was one of those little arms, the hangers, and it was full. So I took another 10 of them and then she walked over to the other one. She goes, this one's got some too. You want those? And I was like, listen, 20 bags at $5 a piece is probably enough for one day. There are 12 different characters and i want to got to get them all got to get them all i'm hoping that i get at least one full set and a couple of duplicates i wouldn't mind some dupes of the roadrunner as well as like the tasmanian devil because that was kind of my nickname as like a young kid you know uh, before adhd was really a thing and, and i certainly hadn't been diagnosed at the time uh it was just kind of a new finger pointing tool at that point oh look at the kid's got adhd you know or whatever uh, I bounced around. I destroyed a lot of stuff. I broke toys. Like that's why I'm so careful and cautious now today because I had such a different upbringing. It was very different. What is up, Jerry? Welcome to the stream. Um, so I don't know if you guys have a favorite Looney Tune or not. As far as like what my favorite would be, honestly, I know this is stupid and cliche, but it's totally Bugs. Bugs is my favorite Looney Tune. I would say, you know, Tasmanian Devil is in there. He made me laugh. You know, blah, 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 spinning around, crashing and everything. What's up, Phoenix King? Um, but I definitely, definitely want to get that Roadrunner. I'm hoping I can get duplicates. Like, the goal is three Roadrunners. And let me tell you why. One, I want one. I'd like to have one. I'd like to have a full set. Two, I'd like to give one to Nam. I feel like since we kind of coined this whole thing and it's all about him he doesn't like lego he hates lego games he doesn't show up to our lego streams he probably won't be here today because the word lego is in the title he's sort of anti-lego um but i'd like him to have one and then third this one's a little bit more sentimental um you know uh, we lost my father-in-law a few years ago as some of you know and um he was what was kind of referred to as a snowbird he had a house uh, up in Washington, just north of where we live. And he also had a house down in uh, Arizona. And I don't remember the town he lived in, but they lived there for a few years. Um, and and the Roadrunners are a big thing down there. So, like, all of the artwork and stuff is all Roadrunners. And so when my wife would go down there or even when they'd have, like, video chats or pictures would be sent or whatever, there was always, like, some reference to Roadrunner. Not, not the Looney Tune Roadrunner, but, like, Roadrunners in general, like, the animal i guess uh, so anyways uh the whole concept of that she, when she was seeing this she was like i, I hope you get two road runners because i want one i was like oh you do like i had no idea that she you know and then she was like yeah because of my dad and i was like duh totally get it now cows what is up bro long time no see is right hey uh congrats you had a little bit of a milestone the other day i don't mean to sound like a stalker or anything but did, did you not hit like a milestone I don't know if you've been uploading that whole time or if you've just been a member, but I, I, I'm pretty sure I saw you post something about that. I, or maybe I'm, I could be wrong. Old man Brian Brain strikes. Maybe, maybe not. Regardless, what up? Welcome to the stream. Haven't even started cracking them open yet. We're starting to get some more people funneling in. That's pretty awesome. In fact, I don't think I've hit the Twitter button yet, have I? Let me go ahead and double check this and see. I have not. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that out and see if it works. Sometimes this thing needs to be booted. Oh, but uh, it worked. What do you guys think of the old uh, thumbnail? Did you like? Uh, uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. I thought Roadrunner is a fictional character. You know, I, honestly, the rendition of how Looney Tunes have it, it sort of is. But it's my understanding that there is kind of a, a low running bird that runs fast and it's a road it's it, i don't i don't know if it can fly or not i mean chickens can't fly so right i mean so i, I don't know uh, that's something that i should know a little bit more but it was more of like the like i said artwork and everything was all tied to the road runner in that area so you know it was, uh but yeah i'm pretty sure there is like i, I don't know what the is it really called a road runner race can anybody verify or deny that um 
Phoenix says, sorry, I can't stick around. Love to see the rest of this. Well, it'll be around for you guys to check out later. What's up, Salt Goat Shaker? Poggers to yourself. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the first one. All right, so here's how this is going to work. I've got 20 bags. My goal is to open them all. I'm, I told my wife I wouldn't take more than an hour because she was trying to gauge when dinner should be ready or whatever. So, uh, you know, I might go a little bit over, but we're going to try to get through this in the next, you know, 45 to 60 minutes. Yeah, I said I might go over. Um, that being said... Um, I've got what they call, okay, so a lot of times when you buy bags that are what they're called blind bags, where you're buying and you could get random things, it's sort of like gambling, I hate to use that term, but it sort of is, it's sort of randomized stuff. Um, now, the bags look identical, but often, not in this particular case, but often there is a box in the back, let's see if I can get the camera to zoom in on that, box in the back, right, right, up, right up there, and there's a number in it. Often that number will represent the make or, or, or whatever that you're looking for. So sometimes it'll be like 11R2. Now R1 might represent this, and R2 might represent that, and R3 might rep. Listen, I gotta be honest. If that is what's happened here, I am gonna be absolutely livid because I have two numbers. I have 20 total bags and i have only two different numbers now it's my understanding that they did not use a numbering system so that people couldn't beat the system like that however there is what is called a feel guide oh now i'm just in time to learn about the feel guide the feel guide is basically a breakdown of the 12 different characters now when you're feeling the bags looking for something there's going to be a consistency of parts that might make it confusing such as each character has a base plate. It's just a small square with two prongs on it that you can st uh, stick your Lego minifigure onto it. So that's going to be pretty redundant. Now, some faces are going to be pretty close to unique, and some are going to be pretty far away from that. Uh, you know, like, for example, we've got Lola and Bugs, which both have, you know, a very similar face shape. Uh, but comparatively to like Sylvester, very different. But if you look at Wiley e. Coyote and Sylvester, you know, their face shapes are wildly the same. Wild E, the same. <laughs> you know, but there's definitely going to be some differences. So I am following uh, w the field guide from The Brothers Brick. That is a website. They're pretty well versed into the concept of Lego sets. Uh, I don't know that they do much game coverage or anything, but they are kind of one of my go-tos when I want to know information about a set and, like, I can't find it on Lego or, you know, if it's something that's coming soon type of a thing. That's where I go. The Brothers Brick. Now, they have all 12. So each character has kind of a unique piece that they say to look for. Lola happens to have what looks like some sort of, like, a, like a cup. It's like a circular, like a bead is almost what it looks like. You know, uh, Bugs has a carrot. Uh, while E Coyote has uh, a speed trap, like like a like a <laughs> not a speed trap, a uh, uh, what do they call them? Uh, you know, speed gun. Test your speed, whatever they're called. What do they call it here? Uh, why is it so small? So, so small. Find the square one by one. Okay, so that t tells you to find that. So I'm probably gonna get most of these wrong. Sylvester has a bat. Tweety has uh, uh, what builds up into a hammer. So there's a couple of round pieces. Roadrunner has what is like a, um, it almost looks like a, like a bird bath. That's probably what it is. Interesting. I, I, it looks like it's a bird bath and it's got seed or something that goes on top of it. Uh, Daffy has a sign. It's Wabbit season. That's going to be fun. Hopefully I get that. Speedy Gonzalez, also one of my top five favorite Looney Tunes. Um, he is pretty awesome. He's got the sombrero, so that one will probably be easy to pick out. Assuming I have, I don't, I don't have a guarantee that I have all of them. Radar gun, thank you, Nom. Hashtag Paz. <laughs> uh, I see why he's so excited. Yeah, they're all Lego. They're collectible minifigures. So I have twenty bags, and there are twelve different characters. I, I may have twenty of the same one, or I may have all of them. I may, I'm not gonna have doubles of all of them, uh, but. Just to put it in perspective, I had to put a cap on it at some point. They were $5 a piece, and there's 20 of them sitting here. So you guys do the math. All right, first one. Let's go ahead and open up the first guy here. I apologize for my dirty service. It's kind of dark, which is nice. But um, I don't know what the best way. Anybody remember when I did this? Uh, we kind of did a live stream of this once before, but it was all virtual blind bags. It was uh, from Lego Incredibles. So a lot of people didn't really understand the concept that they were trying to do there, that they were actually bringing 
the collectible minifigures to life in the digital form. And I don't think people really understood. Now, I've opened the top. I promise you I have not looked inside. I'm going to give it a good feel before I actually pop the lid. Boy, I don't know. It does feel like one of the like bugs, perhaps, or maybe Lola. I'm not feeling a, what, what I feel would be a ponytail. I'm not feeling what I feel. Uh, you guys, I don't know. Maybe... Is that a sign? Is that... What's this? I don't know. Let's see if I can cheat it, cheat it a little bit. What's in there? Like, I'm looking at the screen. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and dump it out. I don't know. I got nothing. It was the Tasmanian Devil. I was thinking it might be because it's such a big head. Like, that's what it felt like. Giggity. All right, so we've got... Ooh, we've got a swirly. What is the swirl? Okay, so we've got... Um, ooh, there's instructions that come with this, too? I wonder what these do. I wonder if these are like Pokemon where you get um, digital codes for unlocks too. Oh my gosh, this tape is on there. There we go. Uh, okay, so it's showing Bugs Bunny on the side here. That's really weird. Uh, all right. So does this show us how to build them all? Oh, interesting. So most of these apparently don't need any kind of uh, explanation. So it looks like um, crazy. So this guy fits right on top of here. Maybe. Maybe you don't use that stand because it gave you. All right. Let's see. You guys can see me sort of building this, right? I guess I could probably get a little gooder here. Where does this go? The tail. Oh, 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 hold on. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. Get this up in here. Is it up? Does it go up or down? Huh. Does it go up or down? It goes up. Okay, I can see it popping up. I mean, physically, it could go either way. I mean, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've checked out the hindquarters of Vol. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right. So uh, not fully assembled yet, but here he is. All right. We've got a pie. Everybody loves pie. Yes, it's pie. Boy. Okay. These glasses have to come off. This is too close. I need my reading glasses. Okay, we got pie, we got pie. So wait a minute, this goes, it shows this. Oh, you're kidding me. Dudes, you're kidding me. Ha 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 ha. This doesn't replace the base plate, not permanently anyways. You see what this is? It's a top, so we can spin him. Blah, blah, blah. I can't, I can't actually do it. And I don't have like a flat, flat. I've got like a, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> What's up, dark side? Or know which one it is by feel. That uh, would be cool. Uh, but then just the, uh, I hope there's a series two of these figures. Foghorn, Leghorn would be awesome. Tom and Jerry would be sweet as well. All right, so I'm going to take the old zoomy off there and I'm going to actually put him right onto the base plate. Um, and I'll stand him right here. So we got one Tasmanian Demil. All right, next up. I need to drink water. I need to wet my whistle. Yeah, Tom and Jerry is actually Hanna-Barbera. But nonetheless, it would still be cool to see that incorporated into future sets. All right, so this is oddly feeling maybe like the same one. No, no, hold on. 19 Taz to go. <laughs> No, this one feels like it might be more of like I, I'm 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 gonna guess Daffy. I'm gonna guess Daffy. I'm I, I, final answer, Daffy. No, wrong. Eh, we need a buzzer. I need somebody with a buzzer. Eh, wow, I was really wrong. It's Lola. So, and I should have known because of the ball. This is that little ball I was talking about. Um, all right, so that doesn't go there. The head bone connected to the 
torso. Alright, and then I'll slap that noggin on there like such. Go ahead and drop this on there. So I, I guess it's a basketball is what it's supposed to be. It doesn't represent one to me very clearly, but that's, I'm sure, what it's supposed to be. Lola. All right, so two official packs. Boy, come on, Light. Do your thing, Cameron. Work it out, work it out, work it out. All right. She's adorable, even though the camera was being a jerk. All right. So I'm at least feeling good in the fact that I didn't get two dupes. Like, two bags, two separate ones. Uh-oh, I'm not liking this, though. I'm terrible at guessing. We're finding that out already. Mando, what is up? Um, what's up, Dak? I'm, that's I, I, I'm 99 percent sure I felt a carrot, because before we even got the feel guide, we were like, "That's a carrot. You can feel that. That's a carrot." But you see, okay, so this feels like a whip or something. It's got to be like a tail or something that goes on there. This feels like a really is there a sign? No, I feel like it's Lola again. I feel like it's Lola. Big bucks, big bucks, no whammies. Oh, it's not. It's yes, yes. It's Speedy Gonzalez. So why does Speedy? He comes with. Is that the cheese? Is that cheese? It is cheese. <laughs> it's cheese. Yeah, I felt a tail. I was pretty sure of that. But at the same time, I couldn't make that out. This is not as easy as I was hoping it was going to be, you guys. I thought I was going to nail these. <laughs> Speedy's his head is inside the sombrero. <laughs> All right. And um, he is of appropriate height. Oops, i got to put the tail on. Oopsie. Where is Speed? Okay. I don't know that it matters, but that'll work pretty dang good. And then we got we got to put the cheese on, man. Why does he have four pieces of cheese when he only has two hands? I mean, I guess I got 20 Lego bags and I only have two hands too, right? All right, so we'll take a quick peek. He is rather short compared to the others. Justin, what is up? here again camera not being wonderful about close-up shots today and color it's just too much too much probably has a lot to do with my pale pasty fingers all right three bags three characters all right next up come on i'd like a marvin the martian i'd like a marvin the martian too i, I know i really have stated that i wanted road runners and stuff but uh Okay, that's a torso. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. Okay, that's that's definitely a torso. Those are arms. Okay, so they're standard arms. Oh, that doesn't help very much. Okay, what's this? Oh. Oh, it's so hard to tell. What is that? What is that? I'm... It kind of feels like... I don't know. I can't tell, you guys. I can't tell. Terrible at this. Well, let's see here. Amanda says, who is your guy's Looney Tunes character? Mine is Marvin the Martian. Um, you know, tops, tops, tops. Bugs Bunny, number one. Numero uno. Damn. It's another Tasmanian devil. Okay, so we're definitely going to get a couple of duplicates. We have to because there are 20 bags here and only 12 different ones. So there are going to be at least eight duplicates. Um, and my thinking on that was, uh, you know, worst case scenario. Did I put that on backwards? I did. Uh, worst case scenario, we have a store locally called Bricks and Minifigs. And they will buy these from me if I wanted to sell them or I could give them away to whoever or whatever too. Um, definitely got some options this guy together and don't forget the head blah, 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 blah. so now he can go 
Oh, I, I was gonna say he could go ham, but it's more of like a chicken, chicken leg. All right, we'll put him on there. All right, so where's Nom at with the 18 testicles? <laughs> uh, all right, so we got dupes. We got doopies, doopies, doopies. All right. Um, okay, so there's the instructions. There's the body. Oh, that, that's a base plate. Okay, that's the base plate. I was thinking that might have been the other, because Daffy has like a, a sign that's a little different. So I'm not liking this, guys. Oh, 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 you guys, you guys, this is, okay, tall ears, it's, it's either A, Bugs, or Wiley Coyote, it's one or the other, I'm going, I'm going with Bugs, hey, <laughs> what's up, Doc, yeah, boy, all right, So there we go. Slap his head on. Oh, he's looking mighty dapper, y'all. Seriously, seriously, you guys. It goes right in there. Oh. Okay, wait a minute. Am I supposed to have a second carrot? Did it really give me two? Why it gave me? Gave me an extra carrot stock. I don't know if I was supposed to get two of those. Look how sweet that is. What the duck? <laughs> All right, so we'll slide him in next to Lola because that seems right. Huh? Slide the cheese up because that's definitely. Oh, but he's gonna want the cheese. That's weird though. I don't think. Does it make mention of? It says, there are two stems in the pack. Make sure you fill the small Y on the stem. Okay. So that one should have been like the easiest one to figure out with the ears. And in all fairness, in all fairness, yeah, he doesn't have a little cottontail. You'd think he'd have a little cottontail or something, huh? But I did get it right. I told you I'm pretty sure. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa. Why does that feel like a, like a wide open? Oh, you know what? This is another Tasmanian devil. Another Tasmanian devil. All right. So. <laughs> Nom, shut it. <laughs> you know how when a guy steps up to the free throw line and he's four for four and they go, he's four for four from the line. Clang. Yeah, that's what you're doing here. Stop it. No more Taz talk. No more Taz talk. <laughs> oh my God. NWT stands for Nom Wants Taz. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> uh, hey, of all eight of my dupes are Taz, that's going to be pretty funny. <laughs> I mean, think about it. That's going to be pretty funny. Like I said, I knew there was going to be some extras. Oh, I forgot to put the tail on again. And the worst part is that schmo that came and stole all those from me originally. I mean, if I would have bought those, if I would have bought those, I would have probably had a full, like the majority of a full box, which would have. So I, they have like this breakdown, too. 
that shows you how the uh, I put his tail going down this time. <laughs> um, it shows you in the box how they are like presumably sorted. It's like each box is supposed to have like so many of this, so many of that. Um, it's pretty awesome. So uh, one, two, three Taz, one Lola, one Bugs, and one Speedy Gonzalez. All right. Oh, oh. No, that's base plate. I was thinking that was the. Okay, what's this? What is this? I, I believe. I believe that's the head, but I can't make out what it is. Bunch of. Bunch of stuff. Oh. long like a bat I believe this is a Sir Sylvester not Stallone not Stallone come on Sylvester ah ha, ha, ha. nailed it nailed it yeah the bat is kind of a dead giveaway if I'm being honest um, so this is what I was feeling the bat I don't know if it's better here the bat yeah, that's where I should be showing them. Oh, that is a little better. Oh yeah, way better. Even though it's not like historically. There we go. How about this? Da, 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 da. That's so much better. So much better. Look at bugs. Like super awesome. Come on, camera. Focus. Focus. Bugs is just too too glorious for the cam. Lola. I'm going the wrong way. Backwards, you guys. Backwards, man. Backwards, man. I can go back. back. You can't. I can go back. Go back. You can't. All right. So we got the tail. Got the head. Let's put the head on first. Let's go ahead and apply thy bat. Oh, snap. We got some people rolling in. Uh, QC, what is up? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Rob, what is up? Welcome to the stream. UTMG, what is up? I thought I saw a booty cat. <laughs> I did, I did. All right, so tail's going up. We'll go ahead and slap him on the old space plate. And then I'll bring him up to the full side. It's not perfect yet, still. That's a pretty good shot. Oh, there we go. Money. That's money. Glorious. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. All right. Got five of the 12. We're almost halfway there, you guys. Um, and we've opened five, six, seven. So almost halfway on those two. Loki, what is up, dude? Welcome. Uh-oh. Dude, Nom, I'm serious, bro. I am serious, bro. This is not cool, dude. I don't like your... I don't like your little curse you put on me here, dude. I don't like this curse you put on me here at all. And if you haven't figured it out, yes, this is my fourth Tasmanian devil. 16 tests to go. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, his head isn't... Okay, there we go. Yes, another ten. Get out of here, Robert. Nobody asked you. Nobody asked you. <laughs> uh, well, needless to say, gonna have a couple of dupes either for <laughs> the shop or somebody. All right. Crappy blind bags. Samuel, what is up? Welcome to the stream. All right. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Dark Saber, what up? Welcome to the stream. Monster, what's up? Okay, so this is feeling like... This is another Bugs. This is another Bugs. 
It's either Bugs or Wiley. And I feel I, I'm I'm 90. Final answer, Bugs. Bugs Bunny. Dude, Ru Judy, knock it off. Don't get started on that, too. Uh, Lewis, what is up? Welcome to the stream. We are almost halfway through our blind bag openings. I'm looking a little bit late on the time frame here, too. All right, go ahead and crack this open. Ooh, what's up, Dak? I still want to know why they give you two carrot stalks. It's so weird to me. Drexler? I swear I just heard Drex coming up the stairs. I'm losing my mind, you guys. Never thought there could be any kind of uh, <laughs> negative momentum <laughs> for blind bags. <laughs> Leave it to Nam, though. Leave it to Nam. Negative Namsy. Oh, come on, Cheese. Stay in his hand, please. Oh, my fingers are getting too big for this. Some of these cheeses are sip, sip, small. All right, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this will be halfway through, and over basically half of them are Tazis. Okay, we'll come back to this one. We'll come back to that one. So I wonder what, hey, I guess I could take the ones that I know are, oh, what's this? This is a different head. I don't think I've had this one yet. Although, although, I feel like it's a Lola. I feel like it's another Lola. No, no. It's Marvin the Martian! Yes! Take that for all of you rooting for Taz. Where's Paz? Where's Paz when everyone's rooting for Taz? Okay, this is glorious. All right, so... <laughs> this is lovely. All right, come on. No, no. Okay, so that goes around his waist. That's weird. I don't remember him having like a a kilt on. Is, it, is that what this is supposed to be? Like a kilt? Some sort of a weird belt, I guess. <laughs> his eyes are killer. Uh, uh, this dude is a clown. All right. Marvin the Martian, I present to you. <laughs> Whoops, his head's a little crooked. There we go. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. All right. <sighs> Come on, big bucks, big bucks, no whammies. Ooh, this is a different This is a different one. This feels like a, a Roadrunner. This feels like a Roadrunner. It's Wiley Coyote! Okay, so it wasn't the Roadrunner. It's a Wile E. I'm on my way to a full set, you guys. We're getting in the home stretch of needs. 
Um, all right, so no. So he does have a tail. It's going to go up. They all go up. This goes on here. This goes on here. Dude, we got rocks. Is that what these are? Oh, it's a, uh, a sec. It's a radar gun. What are they called? So this is the piece they suggest you look for to identify. Like some of these pieces are so so small. Um, so this, okay. So this goes. This. And then this goes. But wait, no, what? Wait, what's what's going on? Here? Okay, so it goes. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. That doesn't go in there. This goes in there. No. What's crap? Ah, there we go. That goes on there. This goes on top. And then this goes on here. And then he's got his radar gun. This is pretty creative. I wouldn't have built it like this, but... But that's why I'm not a Lego builder. See his little... Oh, 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 oh. There it is. There she there it is. Pretty dope. All right, and then we got a couple of rocks or something to go with it. I'm not sure why. Because there are extras of both. Too bad these aren't white. Because I could use them for my mosaic. Because I need three whites. One by ones. All right, recap. I saw at least Loki was kind of wondering what the deal is here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the 12 with one, two, three, four duplicates. So we've officially opened up 11. We know that there's at least one more stupid Taz. We'll get back to that in a little bit. What up, Joey? Welcome to the stream. Samuel Bristol, what is up? Thanks for stopping by today, you guys. Um, let's see here. Meep, meep, no meep, meeps yet. All right, all right, come on. Oh, come on. Don't be what I think it is. Don't be what I think. Okay, so this. Mm. Honestly, not sure. Sure. Part of it feels like it could. I got nothing. I don't know. It's not Taz. It's not. It's not Taz. It's another Marvin. I couldn't tell with Marvin either. So so if I can't tell again, what's up, Matt? If I can't tell again, it's probably gonna be another Marvin. Knocking stuff up. Um, did it give me an extra piece of that too? That's weird. I didn't realize it gave me an extra one. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, another Marvin the Martian, which is great. I love me some Marvin. I love me some Marvin. There. Get this on there. Got a whole freaking army of Tasmanian devils and only two Martians. Who would win? Five Tazes or two Martians? What do you guys think? All right. We've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and the stupid Taz. Oh, this is a different one. This feels like, uh, this is another Speedy. This has got to be a Speedy Gonzalez. It's a sombrero. All right, look at that. So, 
Speedy. Okay, so let's start figuring this out now. Am I going to end up with a full set? How many do I have? How many do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I still need five. I mean, it's going to be close, you guys. I feel like this saga is going to continue. I feel like it's going to continue. I'm not happy about it, but it's probably going to happen. Hoping I was going to get super duper lucky. Hey! And if I don't, would you guys like to see me burn another 100, 100 on these and open them? Or you want me to wait until the Marvel ones come out? And then just update you on my collection progress. I may just go to like Bricks and Minifigs and then trade. Be like, yo bros, you got like five... Five of those Roadrunners I could get for five of these Tasmanian Devils. And, and we'll find out. Watch. Tasmanian Devils are probably, like, the hardest ones to get. Just in case you missed the first showing of Old Speedy. There we go. I was going to say, get some good focus in there. All right. So, lots of cheese to go around for all these guys. All right. We'll go ahead and just open this because I already know it's a Tasmanian Devil. Oh, it's not! It's a Lola! Yes! Oh, I don't know why I'm so excited about getting a dupe of a Lola, but that's better than another Taz. How did I mistake that? I, I was sure this head was the big... Hmm. I'll take it. I'll take it. No more Taz. No more Taz. Say it with me. No more Taz. No more Taz. No more Taz. Lola's like, whoa, well, the hostility... All right, just in case you're just showing up or whatnot, here's here's a Lola up close up. So cute. Get a little basketball, I guess. I Let's see what this says. What what does it say here? It says Lola has a single accessory. So find the spherical ball. That's all it says. It doesn't say anything else about what it is. I, I'm guessing it's basketball because she's in Space Jam, right? And Space Jam Two. But uh, Joey, time him out. Time Joey Bebo out right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I'm serious. If we get another Taz, time him out. Um, this could be. Mm -hmm. Come on. Get away from there. Sort of feels like a pig head. Sort of, sort of feels like a pig head. What? Okay, is there another sign in here? No, there's not. So I'm wondering if it's Petunia. Petunia, final answer. <gasps> well, it wasn't a complete failure. Despite your chantings, rain dances, and all the other things, I've at least landed myself one Roadrunner. Oh, that's so glorious. Kirsten, it looks like your days. So, hey, let me give you a tip. If you can identify the torso, you can very much tell the wings are very different than hands. So, um, definitely a possibility of finding more of those uh, with ease. With ease. And which, 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 which? This is actually pretty sweet. It's like our emoji. It's like our emoji. Me, me. I mean, look at it. Like, tell me I didn't do a good job on that emote. Come on. Do it. Tell me I didn't do a good job. Wings are different than hands. That is true. You heard it here, folks. I'm just saying, like, it's easier to identify the the wings, I think, than any of the other pieces. Because I couldn't make out. Like, I was honestly looking for, like, thinking that this was going to be attached to the head, but it's not. It's free floating around in there. Um, I'm not sure. Like, I can't quite put this in his hand doesn't have them uh, but I can go ahead and put this 
here, and it looks like, I'm not sure why they gave me uh, two red studs, too. Uh, again, not sure. I like excess Lego, but sometimes it just doesn't make sense. All right, so all together now. Mate, mate. That's pretty sweet. Ready? Here's Nam in a conversation. Pew! <laughs> seriously, though. You guys, seriously. All right, so I'm stoked. I didn't get another Taz. Not yet. Oh, I already don't like where this is going. I already don't like where this is going at all. That's you in a conversation. Me, me. Oh, come on. I'm going to have nightmares about opening these damn things. Are you kidding me right now? Like, if you go to buy some of these and you can't find any Tasmanian devils, you know why. <laughs> you know why. Jesus. Swear to God, if either of those are Tasmanian devils. I mean, look at this line. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. This is different. This one's different. I feel like this is pigtails. I feel like it's pigtails. A pig. Alright. So. Sorry to disappoint y'all. Chanting more Taz. More Taz. More Taz. <laughs> Not today. Not today. So yeah, pigtails are pretty easy to make out. Um, it's the only one that has the um, extra piece coming off of the head. So let's slap that on there. Like that. Time for tea with Petunia. Got a little pigtails to pick. Pigtails on a pig. Uh -huh. Alright. I guess we still see all those, right? I feel like they're a little off. Pretty sure I smell dinner. Pretty sure I smell that dinner being cooked. It's gonna be Tasmanian devil stew, is what it's gonna be. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I got three left, and I'm about seven minutes away from my projected time. So I, I'm doing pretty good. Ooh. That's an odd shape. What is that? What is that? That's got to be a, a tail. Mm. Mm. There's the face plate. Feeling like it's another Martian. No, no, Sylvester, Sylvester, final answer. Bam, nailed it. Twelve what? What? 
How many different? Yeah, there are 12 total in the series. And we're a couple short. We're a couple short. Yo, what's up there, ya boy? Welcome to the stream. All right, so I'll just go ahead and show you guys one more time. Sylvester, the second Sylvester we've gotten today. The Lone Bags. Super Cucumber, what is that? Ooh, this one's... Wait. It's, it's a Bugs. This is another Bugs. Final answer. Could be worse. Could be another Tasmanian girl, right? You know, it would be hilarious. See, I don't have the, I don't have this kind of money. I don't have like Mr. Beast kind of money, but like it would be hilarious if I did, and my next stream that you saw my next bonus stream was me and 19 other people dressed up in Tasmanian devil costumes and we show up at Nam's house and work and we all chant more Taz more Taz more Taz I wonder how long before the cops would show up <laughs> all right so we got another Bugs Bunny. All right, so we're down to the final one, you guys. Uh, it's clear that we won't get a full set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this could be ten. This could put us three away, two away. We could be three away. So we don't have Tweety, we don't have Daffy, and we don't have Porky. I don't care who this is as long as it's not another GD Taz. Final Taz. Uh, okay, where's the torso? Is that it? No. What is that? What is that? <laughs> oh, you guys are the worst. You guys are the worst. I feel like... I feel like that's the head. And it's gotta, it's gotta, I, I, I'm feeling like it's Porky, you guys. Is there an extra sign in there? No, there's not an extra sign. That's not Porky. What is this? What is this? That's like... I really have no clue, you guys. No clue, no guess, final answer. What a way to finish! What a way to finish! Meet meet for the win, you guys! Meet meet for the win! Alright, so I am one official meet meep short from what I was hoping to, to get today. Um, as I was trying to get one for myself, one for my wife, and one for Nom. So it looks like Nom got shorted on this one. He'll probably have to catch up on the next batch. Now... What did you guys think about this? This was totally like an impromptu thing to do. Um, I'd been looking for these just simply because I wanted to get a few. But then once that jerk stole all of those and it made me realize how jerky people are about getting these and how fresh and brand new. These are supposed to just come out today. So, um, you know, I'm feeling pretty, uh, pretty all right now. Um, and, and the grand scheme of things, um, you know. This was fun. Definitely fun. Um, I don't like the fact that y'all were chanting against me. But that's a whole nother story. We just time out Nom for a bit, and that solves that. Hey! Um, I guess I can put this on here? Yeah, all right. Let's back it up. Now it's taller. Now it's a real bird feeder. 
All right, one last look at the final meat meep that we got today. So this one will make it down onto my wife's desk. Actually, it'll probably go to her classroom at school, but I had fun. Now, uh, you know, if I were to write a paper, how to burn $100 in an hour or less, this is a great way to do it. Like, honestly, I mean, you can go go-karting. You can go to now, Disneyland wouldn't be an hour or less. Disneyland would be a lot more money probably too, but um ultimately i thought this was a blast uh no for... <laughs> time him out right now time him out no i'm just kidding thank you nom i appreciate that um yeah uh like i said as far as cost effectiveness goes this isn't necessarily on the the highest thing but big shout out to nom for the five dollar super chat um yeah i i i, I think I think Nam will probably end up with a, a Taz by the end of this as well. So that <laughs> just because, of, you know, I feel like he's put so much effort into the chanting and the, you know, it's kind of like a rain dance, right? Like it's kind of like, <laughs> it's kind of like his version of a, of a Taz dance. Right. Um, so yeah, now uh, fun fact for you guys. I think Ben was the one that shared this information with me originally. Um, but essentially, there is another. So, okay, let me let me take a step back. Collectible minifigures. These guys here, these guys here are something that have been around for quite a few years. Uh, they have had various sets. I I, I want to say they might have even had like a SpongeBob one, and they've had various franchises over the years. And I've just always kind of looked the other way. I've always thought five dollars a pop. What? Right? Like, that's kind of how I felt when I looked at them. But, I mean, because, I mean, $5 for a minifig seems a little, especially when you can go to, like, used Lego stores. And even the Lego, you know, Lego World or what, what do they call it? Lego Land. Um, they uh, they have minifigures and stuff in there you can buy for $5 or less. So, like, and, and, like, now they've got that kit, too, that you can buy, like, the 100 heads, the 100 minifigure heads. That's pretty cool. I, I don't know. So, I haven't done a lot of Lego stuff lately. You know, Reese used to do all the building. And I don't know, you know, we don't have our Lego room anymore or any of that. But, I mean, ultimately, you know, I can seriously build sets and do stuff here. I mean, look look how fast my fingers move. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying or what I'm doing. I'm just trying to, trying to riff here. No, for serious, though, um, I would be down to do some more things like this. Uh, maybe, maybe next week. We got game break, so... Uh, fun fact, I got Blazer game tomorrow night and Wednesday night. Both will be losses. Both will probably happen early because they're East Coast games. Um, and, uh, you know, and then Thursday, uh, I will be sort of doing the finalizing of the stuff for the game break on Friday. And then Friday, we're going to do a game break. It's actually going to be flipped. So we're going to do the game break at fri on Friday at 10 a.m. So when normal streams would start on Friday, I'm going to do the game break. I'm doing this because I'm getting my second COVID shot and a lot of people have reported fatigue, illness, not feeling very well. And I'm certainly not going to stream if I'm not feeling very well, but the plan is I'm going to continue. So we're do the game break, which will be an hour or so. And then after that, I'll probably take an hour break, get some food or whatever. And then I'll probably jump on and try check out this new game called returnal. That's supposed to come out on Friday. I'm pretty excited about it because it's made by a developer house Mark. That's made some other games that I've been a big fan of. And um, it's different in the sense of how it plays. And, and I'm going to die a lot. That's actually required. I'm just going to say that now. It's required to die a lot in order to figure out the story. It's something to do with... We'll see. I don't want to give it any, you know, too much away. But there's a lot of death in our near future. And so, no death trophy raised. No death trophy. I don't think. Maybe there is. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Leah, what is up? Welcome to the stream. 100% Lego games. I want to say thanks, Aaron. Good luck on your way. Hey, thank you. Appreciate you. Thanks for stopping by today and saying nice things. Aaron Chan, what is up? You're not being ignored. I promise you're here. I see you. I'm just wrapping things up, getting ready to step on out. In fact, uh, let's see here. Can Happy Thumbs see the YouTube chats? Yes, I definitely can. How to smack the camera for the next time. <laughs> well, hopefully by next time. I can have my, oh, I was going to pull my Sony. I have a really nice Sony camera that I bought like a year ago and um, it hasn't worked. There's been some sort of conflict between my, um, the adapter that I need to use to use that. It's called a cam link made by Elgato. Imagine that Elgato giving me a bad time. Anyways, um, I love Elgato products. Don't get me wrong. So uh, Taz coming to Anom near you and um, hopefully 
soon we'll do some more I, like i said maybe next week or the week after i'll surprise you guys and do something like that maybe if um you know there's lots of stuff out there if you guys want to see if you guys are interested in watching me build lego again i'm down to do it my hands don't work like they used to but like i said All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Much love to all of you. I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. Uh, keep in mind, we'll be back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. on HTG TV, which is our second YouTube channel. And if you have not subscribed already, we would greatly appreciate some love over there. What's up, DBK? KDB? Did I say that right? Sometimes I mix up my letters. Uh, you're your biggest fan, huh, Aaron? Appreciate you. I don't know. I think Nam's our biggest fan. I really do. I think Nam is, like, if we had to line everybody up, I think Nam would be at the front of the line. And it has nothing to do with height. I'm not indicating anything to do with height. It's okay, little buddy. Thank you, Kirsten. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yes. No, and I understand that, Raddy. I, I, I do. Uh, I, I definitely understand that for a lot of people, the time frame does not work out very well. Um, the thing is, is that that's actually the time that works for me as well. Uh, so like my family's gone lately, they've been home a lot more due to COVID and like teaching at home and whatnot. But I mean, ultimately, you know, Reese goes to school at like eight, eight 30 in the morning, eight, eight 30. And then he gets home at two, two 30. So that's why that schedule was originated because, um, I was trying to find a way to fill in some gas between Lego games, you guys, but, uh, Oh, fun fact too. Fun fact tomorrow, tomorrow. The first Lego Batman 1 story video goes up. So the series kicks off tomorrow, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Be looking for video uploads on that. And we're going to keep on pumping those out until we get to the end of that series. So story, preparing for free play, free play, and then achievement cleanup. I don't think there's any free roam. There's the Batcave, but I don't think there's anything that we really need to do. But if there is, we'll do that then as well. So, uh, hey guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and dip out. I see that I have... Uh, I, I, I caught Nam off guard, and I got to go quick because if I don't, he'll he'll return the favor, and then it starts all over again. So thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Much love to you all. If you have not already, please check us out at happythumbsgaming.com. We also have tons of social media presence. We'd love to see you out there. In fact, go to our Facebook because you get updates on my stuff as well as Kirsten's live streams as well. So anyways, as always, until next time. So...